morning. Today uh, we are taking a little trip outside of Madrid. Yeah, we're gonna take a full day wine tour. Pretty excited yes. about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of our, I think, the days we're looking forward to the most, at least I am. Um, and also, it's Mardi Gras day, so happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. So let's go uh, try and learn about some Spanish wines. decided to not talk too much to the camera. Um, the reason behind that being that we had a small, it was a small group trip, so there were only two other guests with us and our tour guide, and because it wasn't a huge group, we felt weird hanging back to talk to the camera. But we did want to comment on the things we got to see because it was, it was an awesome trip. <laughs> we visited three different wineries, all within the Madrid wine region. So the first uh, of the three wineries we visited um, was actually the Royal Winery, uh, but it was a beautiful cave underneath. Mm -hmm. So there's, I guess, the city kind of outside of Madrid where the royals went, kind of had their own little private area to get out of the city, and the winery was out there. Um, and we went through the cave. They used to store the royal wine, um, just beautiful, centuries-old um, wine cave, basically. Yeah, um, and it was, uh, I mean, walking through it was, I mean, we walked and walked and walked in this yes, wine cave. Yes, huge cave. But stunning. So then we got to try a few of their, um, the wines that they make mm -hmm. at that winery. Uh, that wine was pretty good. We had a- Two different reds. Two different reds aged at different amounts. Mm -hmm. um, I like the longer aged one. Yeah, and I think that we ended up purchasing that one, right? So then we finished up there, drove a little ways to mm -hmm. a small town um, that's, I think, really well known for wine in this region. Um, I think he said there was six wineries within that within small... Within like a small... And it's a small a very town. small town. Small town. <laughs> the second winery was run by this guy and his uh, pup, actually. <laughs> and you definitely got a very, like, rustic feel when you went here. Yes. Um, it was definitely very quaint and mm -hmm. the most adorable little dog. The pup was doing most of the oh, work, clearly, I think. Clearly, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> they actually called... It, it's a special breed of dog that is a... A basically a Spanish wine cellar dog that's mm -hmm. bred to uh, keep rats out of the wine cellars. Well, in the United States we call rat terriers. But it's very similar, yeah, yeah. But then the, the name in Spanish refers to like wine dog or something mm -hmm. like that because that's their job in Spain. Yes, although the, the uh, the wine master here said that his dog is basically a princess and would be no good oh, yeah. at actually doing any sort of useful hunting. But she is one of the models for the labels of one of the wines yeah. we tried. Ah, so. yes. uh, yeah, I, I guess we've been talking more about the dog than the wine, um, but she reminded us of our oh, own dog. dog at home, which uh -huh. we're kind of missing right now, yeah. so it was nice to see that. Uh, but anyway, he took us through the winery, which is a has been there, I think, for centuries, mm -hmm. um, like most of the other buildings and mm -hmm. wineries in that town. Uh, so he showed us some of the old equipment, mm -hmm. uh, some of the old presses, and the clay pots that they used to um, ferment the wine in. Um, and pot is an understatement. These things are like <laughs> the size of a room, or yeah. pretty much near the size of a room. They're huge. It, yeah, we could have easily <laughs> fit in them with room to spare. Oh, definitely. Oh, and we ha so we tasted three wines at this one, one white and two reds. Yes, um, we're not wine experts by any stretch of the imagination. We enjoy drinking it. We don't understand it. Right, we can't yeah. really explain it. We're like, uh, oh, this one tastes good. This one's eh, not yeah, for us. Uh -huh. It's about our extent of wine. Right, uh-huh. <laughs> Had a few snacks while we were mm -hmm. there and just chatted with uh, the owner and our mm -hmm. tour mates. Um, yeah, it, had a, it was a really good time. Yeah, and it was one of the reasons why we're glad that that tour was about the size it was because it's nice to kind of just talk to some other travelers and get mm -hmm. to know the, the owner and a little bit about our tour guide even. Um, so then our final um, winery was just around the corner mm -hmm. basically from yeah. this. It had been a convent mm -hmm. um, hundreds of years ago until basically the country of Spain took away the property from the church and they gave it or this family um, 
acquired it and turned it into a winery. Although I think the monks had actually been brew had been making yeah. wine there um, for centuries before mm -hmm. that. So there was already um, wine caves underneath it. Yeah. You can tell that they really care about the wine. Um, and their reputation is on the yeah. line with every bottle that right. they have. Yes. We got one of the bottles, we and that's what one. we're drinking right now. <laughs> Very good. Yes. <laughs> and one thing I do want to say is, I'm sure we would have mentioned, was how affordable all of the wine is, at least compared to U.S. standards for wine. Um, I think this bottle that we're drinking right now it was four euros? The whole yeah, bottle. The whole was bottle. Four euros. Yeah. Which uh, you, you can't, can't even that. get a glass. No. Uh, uh -huh. out Not at, like, even a, a cheap glass. Bar. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Where we're from. Right. Um, uh, but then yeah. they took us down oh, into yeah. the caves oh, yeah. um, where they have, they've been storing bottles oh, for I love the caves. a long time. A really long time. So, old we bottles. thought we saw old bottles when we first went down there because they said 1987, which is uh, the year we were born. We were born. <laughs> so we were thinking, oh, those are old. But then no. he took us farther and farther into the caves yeah, where they just kept getting older, older and older. There was just cobwebs and everything. You could barely see where the bottles mm. were. But, um, it was impressive. Yeah. And I guess the caves under there had actually been used as bomb shelters yeah. during the uh, Spanish Civil War right. um, to just bring in anyone in the city who needed a shelter to yeah. stay out of the bombs, um, which was pretty fascinating, yeah. that extra little bit of history. Mm -hmm. Um, just because it's been around for so long. But. Um, how much wine we had to drink there, I don't know if I recall at that point. <laughs> we had a few, we definitely had a white wine. We had one like fruity, the wine was, the wine tasting at this place was a little bit different because I guess kind of like filled us up as we like walked places it seemed mm, like. Yeah. Um, so we had a few different things along the way. One was like a little bit fruitier and kind of had like a pinkish hue to it. Yeah, um, uh, like a rosé. Yeah. But a, I think he mentioned it was a little different than a, a rosé this year because of how the grapes grew or something. Yeah, Again, then, not a big expert. Right. <laughs> so that was our third and final. Um, throughout the whole mm -hmm. trip, the our tour guide explained, like I said, the history of the region, the history mm -hmm. of the wine. Um, I guess the history of wine and the history of Spain just go hand in hand. Right. So uh, they're so intertwined mm -hmm. that he could really Play off of those yeah, uh -huh. two. You could tell he loved what he did. <laughs> uh, he makes wine at home and yeah. is also a sommelier. Yeah. Um, and he just loves wine and it showed with a... Definitely. Yeah. So we'll make sure we put the link to that tour right, down yeah. in the description below. Mm -hmm. um, so you can book that book tour. That and hopefully here. you'll get, I believe his name is Enrique. Yes. Uh, so hopefully you'll get Enrique. Uh, I'm although I'm sure the rest of the tour oh, guides yeah, are fine, I'm sure, but I'm sure. um, but we can't we, vouch for that. And we especially liked our yeah. tour. Yeah. Uh huh. But I think that I mean I think that yeah. sums it all up. Uh, so make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Good night. Bye.